2 times 2 times 2 is 8. All right, now I'm going to tell you how to solve these when they become more complex. The way to solve these when they become more complex is to create what's called the same base number. Right now the base number is 2. All right? Thank you. I know you're thinking when you do that, but it's the interesting sound. It's like, ooh, time, waiting. Never mind. <laughs> OK. So 2 to the x, and now we're going to create the same base number. The base number we're going to create in this case, I'll tell you, is 2. So, this side has a base of 2. What would 8, eight with a base of 2 be rewritten as, exponent form? 2 to the third. 2 to the third. Good. I'm glad I phrased that question properly. 2 to the third. Now, once you create the same bases, it's clear that x is equal to 3. Right? That's the idea. Once you create the same base, the exponents will be the same. Here we also conclude x equals 3. Questions on this? On the, on the outset. Okay, so I'm going to give you another problem. Let's do, let's erase this one. Let's erase. Okay, focus on one at a time. So we got 2 to the 3x plus 5 equals 128. Okay, so it's not as clear this time. So the solution is create the same base. Any guesses of what that base is going to be? Two. Two. Any questions about that? Yeah. Why? I mean, this one already has two, mm -hmm. and when you work with exponents enough, you know that you can create 128 as a power of two to the something. Yeah. All right. So let's rewrite these. Two. Two to the what is 128. 14. Six. 14. 14. 2 to the 14? No. Put it on your calculator. 14. 6. 6? Oh, you sure? No. What do we got? What was the question? Whoa. 2 to the what is 128? Come on, man. Th let's be old school. 2 times 2 is what? 4. Times 2 is? It's 8. 7. 7. 7. Okay, two, 2 to the it's 8. Now we're at 4. 2 to the 4 is? 16. 16 times 2. 32. 32 times 2? 64. 64 times 2? 128. 128. Seven twos. Alright? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of a little elbow grease, they call that. <laughs> elbow grease? Like, yeah, it'll work hard. That's good. Two to the seven. Look. Seven. Okay, so. 3x plus 5. 3x plus 5. You can say it loud. 3x plus 5 equals 7. seven. Alright, good. Be proud. Are you proud? Yeah. Roll with the punches. 3x equals 2. <laughs> x equals 2 over 3. Alright. So x equals 2 thirds. Any questions? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so we're erasing, coming down. Next one coming. Please don't erase. Okay. I'll put the next one up. 5 to the. I'm glad people are so interested that I would hear yawns. That's great. No, I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> your yeah, sign. It's a yelp of joy. <laughs> so it means that you're taking in more oxygen, which right. makes our brain work more, so we just want to learn. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> nice save. Nice. Okay, what's the base? Five. 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 Correct. Five will be the base. So, here it comes. May I? You may. May I? X is two thirds here. Mother, may I? Okay. So, five <laughs> to the n minus 3 equals 1 over 5 2. Okay, so let's change it to 1 over 5 squared, right? But that's, all right, 25 is 5 squared. And now, can you transform 1 over 5 squared using your rules of exponents? 5 to the negative 2. 5 to the negative 2, right. Why? Right. Negative exponents mm -hmm. mean move it to the other side and make it positive exponent. 
Right, it's a rule for exponents. So, rewrite this. 5 to the negative 2. Here's an aside. 5 to the negative 2 equals 1 over 5 to the positive 2. Right? That's the rule that we've talked about in exponents. So that's applying here. So n equals 1. n equals 1. Good call. Yeah. So we can set up the equation. n minus 3 equals negative 2 plus 3 plus 3 n equals 1. Uh, Question. Just trying to look over it. The point is to make the same base. And then we set the exponents the same. Can I hear a pop? pop, pop. You want me to do it? Yeah, maybe. No, really. Um, okay. <laughs> good job. Okay. Okay, that's good. So, on, on, on demand. I can cool. do it. Tell me when to do it. I'll let you know. Okay. 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 Bing, time's up. <laughs> All right. Any questions on this? No. All right, so you're going to try one. One more for you. Okay. One more. What's the answer? N equals one. That was just an aside. That was just an aside, yeah. Just to let you know. That was to let you know. N equals one. That's why we write okay. pencil. No, I'm just kidding. I'll start this problem over here. Okay, that's fine. So here, let's put it back. Five to n minus three equals one over one twenty-five. Okay. You try this one. One over nine the m. Okay. Equals 81 to the n plus 4. Okay. Let me fix that 8. I want to do it right. Do it up. 81. Cool. Okay, so. Cool. A little, little different, right? What do you think the base will be? 9. 9, nine to the negative n. Okay. 9 could be the base, or 3 could be the base, but let's do 9. Let's do 9. 9 is more visibly apparent. So, 9, visibly apparent, I know. <laughs> it's nine, not, it's not wait, what is 1 ninth? What is 1 ninth? 9 to the negative 1. 9 to the negative 1. Watch what I mean. Watch what I mean. Would that be 9 to the negative 1? It will be. It will be. I just want to show the process. Right? So here are 1 ninth changed. Here are 1 ninth changed. All right, so we're going to do it. The next step, we'll fix that up. What would this base be? 9 to the? Nine to the square. 9 uh, to the second. 9 squared. So, so I'm going to write 9 to the 2 and plus 4. All right, so this, sometimes people confuse this. Be really careful. Be really, really careful. So over here, what do you do when you take a power to a power? What do you do with the exponents? Multiply. 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 Very good. Oh, no. Good, good. So 9 to the negative m. What do you do here when you take a power to a power? Again? Multiply. Multiply. So what is 2 times m plus 4? 2m plus 8. 2m plus 8. 9 to the 2m plus 8. As in, 2 times m and 2 times 4, distributing. Very good. Questions on this philosophy? You all right? So you always keep it within the parentheses? Well, you multiply 2 times this quantity, and that would necessitate distributive property. No, I know, but like, um, whatever. Oh, you don't have to keep it in parentheses. No, I'm just showing. I'm showing how it works. Okay. Showing how it works. Mm -hmm. So now we have the same base. So now we're allowed to set the equations the same. Negative m equals 2m plus 8. All right, minus 2m, minus 2m. What's negative m minus 2m? Negative 3m. Negative 3m. Negative 3M. <laughs> equals 8. That was my attempt at American Idol style cheering. <laughs> minus 3, minus 3 divided by m. Equals negative 8 thirds. Negative 8 thirds. All right. Oh, so it doesn't have to be a whole number. Does not, and usually it won't. All right, so fancy that. If m was negative 8 thirds here and here, these equations would be the same. Okay, good. Several minutes left to introduce you to my very good friend. I'm going to raise this guy here. My very good friend, I want you to meet Ben. Ben. Hi, Ben. All right, 
Hi, Ben. Are you ready to meet Ben? Very. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> so, remember we started with this example. This was just our example we started with. Now we are going to give letters to each one of these numbers. B E N. B E N. Here we go. Meet Ben. Here's my friend. His name is Ben. Hi, Ben. <laughs> Let's hang out. Call me. Text me. Ben is too cool for I am. You miss Greg. I miss Greg, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, B is the base. Let's write it over here. Base. E is the what? Exponent. Exponent. Very good. Thanks. Exponent. 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 <laughs> Exponent. N is the what? Number. 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 This exponent okay. number. So, that's the idea. If you can assign two to the B, three to the E, and eight to the N. All right. So now we're going to introduce what are called logarithmic equations, logs for short. All right. Here's how it goes. Logs are intended to produce exponents. They're intended to produce exponents, so they their answers are e. Their so answers like are scientific e. notation. I'll tell you what I mean. I'll tell you. So they produce e. Logs have a base that's over here. Call that b. And you take a log of a number. So the same b, e, and n that you see here are the same B, E, and N that you see here. And we're just going to rewrite them in a different way. So, could you write possibly 2 to the 3 equals 8 in log form? All right, so I'm going to write the word log. Write the word log. So yes, what would this value be? 2. 2. Any questions about this being 2? This is the B. What would this value be? Eight. 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 What would the exponent be? Three. 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 So, these two are equivalent. Right? That's the introduction to log form. What does log form mean? Log form is rewrite this with the intent of calculating what the exponent is. The exponent is three. Is that like standard form? It's, a, it's another, yeah, it's a standard logarithmic form. Okay. All right, I'll show you, I'll show you some examples. We'll always have that one first, so we can always do the log. You're going to be given this, yeah. and then you can make it into that. Now you're going to be, at the end of today, you're going to be given this, and you have to go to that to solve. Okay. I'll show you what I mean. Write the following. Write the following in log form, please. A to the zero equals one. Write that in log form, that's all. Okay. So log to the base eight of one equals zero. So the way to say this is log base eight of one equals zero. That's how to say it. Eight, eight of one equals zero. Okay, yeah, repeat after me is fine. Okay, now you're going to solve logs. All right, we're going to solve log equations. So what if the log problem was log base 2 of 32? So let's look at this closely once you write it down. Log base 2 of 32. What's missing? The exponent. The exponent. So you, good, good. So, so you're like hold on. 2 to the what equals 32? Got it. You got it. Yeah. So we're missing the exponent. So the way to solve logs is to write them in exponent form. And we just rewrite. So 2 is the what? B, E, or N? B. 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 Here it comes. B. 2. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Do, you have, do we have our E or no? We're looking yeah. for it, right? E. Uh, yeah, equals 32. 32. Alright, can you solve this intuitively or we can create the same base like we did a few minutes ago? Same base? When we make it the same base, let's be consistent. 2 to the e equals 2 to the what? 2 to the what's 32? 5. Great. So e is what? 5. Alright. That's it. If I ask you to solve this equation, the answer would be 5. Right? One more and then we're, we're done. What does log stand for? Logarithm. 
<laughs> what does logarithm stand for? Logarithm is a type of function that produces exponents, right? Produces e. You run it into this log machine, this fancy doodad, and then out comes the receipt, and it's an exponent. Is there a way to do all that? Of course, yeah, log of x. Oh, okay, you're showing me. Log, there is a log button on your calculator. Check it out. Okay, solve this one more for me. What? Okay. So, log base 2 of 1 over 16. Try that one. So the last one we do today. Where's the one? Will you show me it? I'll show you, yeah. Again, we're missing E. So... Wait, let, try it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're missing E. So, yeah, you want to say it now? 2 to the... 2 to the E. Equals 1, equals 1 over 16. Again, create the same base. Create the same base. What's that base going to be? Negative. Yeah, the base will be 2. The base will be 2. 2 to the negative 4. Very good. 2 to the negative 4. Why? Because 1 over 16 is 1 over 2 to the 4. Okay. And 2 to the 1 over 2 to the 4 is 2 to the negative 4. This is going away. 2 to the e equals 2 to the negative 4. And now what's our Sixteen. See the E? Yeah. The way I like to think of it, like slang, it's kind of like a fun little game. Two to the this equals two to the that, so this equals that. That's the way I thought of it. So, you see how E's have to be the same. Circling! These have to be the same for the equation to work. So E equals four, and we're done. Negative four, thank you. <laughs> That's called keeping me honest. E equals negative four. Negative four. Questions? Comments? Concerns? Concerns? Okay. Thank you, that was great. That was a lot of fun. Thank you. Okay, you can cut it. Cut it! Cut it!